Hi, good evening and welcome to oh, day 18 of my 31 days live challenge. 18 days. That was my original target, my original goal. But here we are, 1st of September, uh, and I'm still going now near the end of the third week. Uh, and it's been amazing. I'm absolutely loving this. Uh, and interestingly, it's helped me to get on with a whole lot of other things. I've been holding back on some e-courses I've been trying to put together and doing these daily uh, videos, daily broadcasts has really improved my confidence and helped me to do it. So I, I do strongly recommend if you're if you're thinking about the idea of getting on live and doing live video, then do the 31 day challenge. Just just go to the group on Facebook, 31 day challenge. Just just start throwing in your videos every day and just start start doing it because it will make such a difference. And it doesn't matter if they're not too good to start with because trust me, they will get better. They really, really will. So today we're still on pep talk. That's basically where we are talking about my purpose, experience, passion, performance. That's the four elements of a great speech. It's the formula I use when I'm coaching. It's basically the thing you need to think about. If you're putting a great speech together, clear sense of purpose, speak from experience. And today we're going to focus on the whole thing about speaking from passion. Now, let me tell you a story. I was doing some coaching a few years back, for fact, quite a few years back now, uh, about 10 years ago. I was doing some coaching for some professional speakers, members of the Professional Speaking Association. And the whole idea was I was going to coach them for one day, and then two weeks later, they're all going to come back, and then we would video the talk. So the idea was to coach them up so they created a 15-minute talk we could video and turn into a showreel so that they could then use that to promote themselves. And... One of the speakers got up and delivered a talk, and to say it was dry would have been an under an understatement. It really was a struggle. Now, I used my pep talk formula to help me, and I immediately started thinking, okay, fine, where, where was the purpose? I didn't get the purpose. It was a talk on a, a new idea about management, and it just wasn't getting it. It wasn't inspiring me, didn't inspire anybody else in the audience. Um, and I, I, I worked on experience. Where was the experience? How are we getting? Where did this come from? Was it just something you'd read about? It, it just it just wasn't coming together. <clears throat> and I felt at the end of that coaching session, I about spent about three quarters of an hour coaching them, and I really felt I, I I just hadn't got it. I hadn't found something. And normally within three quarters of an hour, I can find something that makes that switch. It's like it triggers it, and suddenly there's we know there's something that can be done which makes a huge difference. I mean, you only need one thing each time when you're being coached. That's really what you're looking for. One thing that can make the big difference. Just could not find it. Everybody else it had worked really well. Anyway, we we'd stop for the break. Uh, and I just happened to overhear him talking to somebody about one of his new uh, hobbies. He, he was practicing Reiki and was now doing his level three Reiki. And suddenly I noticed something about him. His whole body changed. His body language was suddenly more animated. His face lit up. He looked as if he had more color in him. And I thought, what has happened? I had a quick chat to him. I said, so, so what's this about Reiki? He said, oh, I love it. Absolutely. And I could see the passion. He absolutely loved what he was doing with Reiki. It was something he really wanted to do a lot about, but it wasn't something he felt was going to make him the money, wasn't something he wanted to be doing in terms of speaking about it because it was such a limited market. He wanted a topic that would take him into a market where <clears throat> there was plenty of opportunity to speak to businesses. And I thought, look, is there any way that you can match or somehow connect what you're doing with Reiki with what you're doing in business and management. Because if you can take that passion that you've got for that and put it into your talks for business, wow, you will actually have a winning presentation. Well, two weeks later, he came back and wow, what a change. He got somebody up on stage, <clears throat> well, smaller the stage you had there, and he started doing a Reiki session. And as he was doing it, he was talking about management and talking about the importance of being able to step out of where you are in your business and look at what you know and your passions from elsewhere and bring us. He actually took the whole idea. Find a passion that you've got, bring it into your business. And as he did, the whole speech came alive. And that's what you've got to do. Find your passions. 
I've got a couple of passions. You know, if, maybe what you're thinking about is what is it that fires you up? What is it that gets you really excited? And if you have a look, yesterday we talked about going back and doing a life a timeline in your life, finding out what it is in your life that really has made a difference. What are the things that the turning points? But also what you want to look at is when you're looking back through this experience, what are the things that just keep on being there? Now, I can tell you now, if I look back through my life, they're always there, public speaking. Been there since I was, yeah, as, as a 12-year-old child, I had little puppet shows and was doing puppet shows to, uh, to the customers who came into my mum and dad's pub. Um, and then I joined a drama group and started doing speaking there. And very quickly, I got into training and then into speaking. Speaking has always been a part of my life. It's something I absolutely love. I cannot think of a place I would rather be than standing in front of an audience. Okay, standing in front of a camera is going to get better, I know, but you know, a live audience is still what I absolutely love. So that's one of my passions. It's something I always do. Now, I have four guitars upstairs. I have some keyboards. I have a piano. Well, actually, I don't have a piano anymore because I've just given my piano away to my son. And the reason for that is it's just sat in a lockup for four years without me playing it. And prior to that, it sat in the corner of the room without me playing it, apart from the odd occasional tinkle on the ivories. Well, not ivory anymore. There's the problem. I was never passionate about music. Okay, I've learned to play the guitar, I learned to play the piano, I learned to play the recorder, but I never really at the level that I kind of turned it into a business. It wasn't something I was so passionate about that I wanted to spend all my spare time doing it. I had friends who did. They just couldn't put the guitar down, always playing over and over again, just constantly learning more chords, learning to improve their skill. I did that with public speaking. Now, you'll find that that's the thing about your passions. It's something you absolutely love to do. In fact, I remember being on a Brian Tracy workshop years ago, and Brian said something that really stuck with me. He said, look for something that you would, if you had the money, you would pay people to let you speak about. And that's the topic you need to be developing as your main topic. It's the thing is that people talk on all sorts of topics, and sometimes the most strange topic of all becomes very popular, not because it's a popular topic, but because this particular speaker has such a passion for that topic, they make it interesting, they make it something people want to listen about. I was terrified to change gender. Didn't change gender until I was 52 years old. Um, since then, it's it's what I talk about. I'm passionate. I, I, I got discriminated against. I really struggled with the problem. And now I help other people. I'm constantly talking about it. People constantly contact me. I'm reading about it all the time. I deliver workshops on it. And it doesn't matter that for 10 years I've delivered the same workshop pretty much over and over again. It's a topic I love. I never, ever get bored with it. I've always had a passion for technology, social media. I can talk about it forever, never get bored with it. Even if I repeat the same thing and talk about the same thing over and over again to different groups, it doesn't bore me. And that's the key. You need a topic that just never bores you. So have a look at your passions. Have a look at your life. Have a look at what it is that fires you up. What makes you want to get up in the morning? What makes you feel invigorated? If you, if you need to relax, um, this is the thing, isn't it? If I want a nice holiday and a break, where would I go? On a speaking convention. <laughs> Can't think of anywhere more, more relaxing than spending three or four days with a bunch of speakers. Now, most people would find that terrible, but that to me is great. So look for your passions. Look for what it is out of your experiences. Look for what it is that really fires you up. Look for what it is that keeps you motivated, look for what it is that you just absolutely love to do. And there will be a way for you to make that a speaking topic for a business. I promise you. Just, just look at it and find that passion. So there we go. And if you've done your part, uh, your, uh, started doing some videos or looking at that, then don't forget, <clears throat> pop along to the Facebook group at eSpeaker <clears throat> the eSpeaker Live Facebook group. <clears throat> All you have to do, is, if you have a look in the chat, um, I've already put some details in the chat uh, on this, uh, on here. I'm not sure if I can actually show that. No, I can't. <clears throat> that has to be from somebody else coming in. Um, so if you get, get into the chat, go, go into the chat and you will find this uh, a link there. If not, just go on the Facebook, type in 
hashtag eSpeaker, you'll find me straight away. It's the only one that comes up. Uh, join that group. Post your videos. Post your Facebook, your live uh, shows. Just post stuff up there. I'll comment on it. I've got lots of other people in there beginning. Well, there's about half a dozen so far, but I'm encouraging more to come. Uh, we'll comment on what's in there. We'll look forward to seeing you. So speak with passion. Remember, purpose, experience, passion. Really, really important. And the thing I found about passion is it, you don't have to worry too much about performance if you get it passionate. If you're passionate about something, you get the variety. You get the, and the, the, the different voice inflections. Everything starts to happen already because you're passionate about it. But tomorrow, I'm going to talk about performance and what you can do to improve your performance, improve your performance skills. We're looking at voice, we're looking at body language, the whole thing. Not, not big, just going to have a little look at what you can do to polish up and improve your performance ability. So pop along and see me at eSpeaker um, cl uh, Group. I keep thinking club. This is a bit of a club. It's going to be a club. Yeah, come and join the club uh, on Facebook groups. Um, pop your videos in. I look forward to seeing you there. Have a great night. Good to see you.